Michael Jordan has a reputation of not only hating rappers, but hating rap music as a whole, with just one exception. This first became widespread news when Chameleonaire released a video on Ustream detailing his encounter with Michael Jordan. Chameleonaire said there were only two people he was huge fans of that he would ever ask to take a picture with, Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson. He was at a Michael Jordan party and saw him taking pictures with girls. So later on, Chameleonaire would see Jordan chilling on the side with Spike Lee and some of the roster from the Boston Celtics. So he mustered up the courage to give it a shot and ask him for a photo. He went up to them, nobody was really speaking so he didn't interrupt anything, and asked Michael Jordan if he would mind taking a picture. Chameleonaire states that he wouldn't have been upset if Jordan said no. He somewhat expected a no, but it was how he was told no. He said, oh hell nah man, I ain't taking no pictures with no niggas. And he said it like that and I was like, I kind of got st stunned for a second because I was like, Wait a second, I don't think he heard. I turned back and my boys were just looking at me like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of thought that he didn't hear what I said. And I was like, Chameleonaire had just been at a Reggie Bush event, bidding for a Michael Jordan jersey with other famous NBA players' jerseys and memorabilia too. It was him and some other guy raising the price between them two until it reached $7,000. And Chameleonaire just went over to the guy and told him, look, how about we just split this? He would find out that the guy didn't even really want the jerseys and was just showing off for Kim Kardashian who was on stage since she was dating Reggie Bush at the time. So Chameleonaire, stunned by Michael Jordan's initial response, says the following. I just bid $7,000 for a Michael Jordan jersey, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then he goes, you know what, I'll tell you what, you, you pay $15,000 right now for a jersey from me and I'll take a picture with you. And keep in mind, Michael Jordan's real tall. He's looking down on me. And I'm looking up at him like, man, I've never been so heated in my life, man. My heart just started racing like, I'm about to steal off on this fool. <laughs> and I, I thought about all the times when I used to pause the little video game or the uh, basketball game and, and draw the picture of this dude dunking. I thought about all the times when I seen John Starks come baseline and just dunk on them fools. I, seen, I thought about the time when Allen Iverson crossed them over and I was like, what? Jordan, how you let... Allen Iverson crossed you over like big Michael Jordan fan. And it's just the way he did it. And then, um, uh, who was it? Paul Pierce. So one of them was like, yo, hey, man, chill out. That's, that's Chameleonaire, man. He was like, I don't give up. And he cursed. He said, I don't give up, nigga. And I was like, and then you know what I did? I just sat there for a second. I just sat there and looked at him. And then I turned to Spike Lee and I said, you know what? I appreciate it, bro. That's all good. And I shook Spike Lee's hand. And they all had that look like, man, you know, that's just how Mike is. You know what I'm saying? I shook everybody's hand. Chameleonaire continued on by saying that how he said it was nowhere near as rude than how Michael Jordan said it to him in person. This was sometime in the late 2000s. The video was uploaded in 2009, but since Ray Allen and Paul Pierce were on the Celtics, it likely happened around 2008. The next rapper to tell a similar story that happened nearly a decade before Chameleonaire's story was when Noriega, famously known now on the Drink Champs podcast, went on the Rap Radar podcast in 2016 and told the story of his encounter with Michael Jordan. Noriega has dissed Michael Jordan in the past in the 2000 song Our Way with lyrics such as From New York, but I still been hating the Knicks and F Jordan, but still I be rocking his kicks. Plenty of people just thought he didn't like Michael Jordan as a player since he was beating the New York Knicks all the time, and Noriega's from New York. But he went on to tell the story that, although that might have been the case, a future event would make this more personal. Wow. Jordan is a hater of hip hop. <laughs> he, he only likes Hove. That's it. That's it. That's where it stops. It's Hove and that's it. I've seen him shut Red Man down. I've seen oh, him shut man. Red Man at a Def Jam Christmas party. We were all sitting there waiting to speak to Michael Jordan and Nigga said, yo, you red man and method man is here. He said, fuck rap. <laughs> <laughs> Seen the nigga say that. I was like, <laughs> this is my fate. I'm like, I'm on the side of him. <laughs> like, look, like, like, look, red man. That's going viral. Somebody, somebody. Like, I, 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 now, now, yeah, fuck it, quote me, but I believe it was red man and method man. And I'm, I'm to the side. So I'm seeing, like, I could directly hear his voice. This wasn't, he was like, fuck rap. 
I was like, oh, that shit hurt me, yo. At the Def Jam said, Christmas party. Was he doing the Def Jam Christmas Def party? Def Jam Christmas party, my dude. What the fuck you doing the Def Jam Christmas Mariah party? Mariah Carey like hosting and shit like that. He only <laughs> smoked the hove. Fuck right. But he spoke the hove. He spoke the hove. That's, uh, okay. that's without a doubt. The first time Noriega told the story, he said it was Method Man and Red Man that wanted to get the attention of Michael Jordan, who was at a 2002 Def Jam Christmas party for the release of Mariah Carey's album, Charm Bracelet. He later says that he wasn't sure if it was Method Man, Red Man, or Freeway, but he knew it was rappers from Def Jam. Noriega was close to Michael Jordan, who had four or five security guards around him, and overheard someone telling Michael Jordan that someone wanted to say hello to him. Because Nori said that pictures weren't really a thing back then, so perhaps they just wanted to say hi. Jordan asked, who's that? And when he was told it was a rapper, his response was, And I remember Jordan saying, fuck rap. And that shit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. It still hurts. It still hurts. The internet was a different time when Chameleon Air posted his encounter. When Noriega posted it, it went ultra viral. This was 2016 and became one of the most talked about topics of that week on the internet. So much so that Michael Jordan decided to make a statement through one of his representatives who sent it to TMZ. Jordan's rep, SD Portnoy said, MJ wasn't at this party, doesn't know Nori, and is a fan of all music. Drake is in his brand. And Nelly is a partner of his with the Charlotte Hornets. This put Noriega in a compromising situation. He was basically being called a liar by Michael Jordan. And if people believed this, they would look at him negatively for trying to slander someone who's beloved within hip-hop. Thankfully for Nori, he had proof. And he sent out a tweet saying, Does this look like a happy moment? And it's a photo of Michael Jordan with Jay-Z at a Christmas party for Mariah Carey's album in 2002. Jordan had lied and been caught. His rep does have a point though. Drake does have a deal with Nike and Air Jordan. And if he didn't like rappers at all, he wouldn't have him represent his brand. In 2015, he was dancing to Drake's diss record towards Meek Mill's Back to Back in a video. In 2017, Michael Jordan even named a rapper as his favorite artist when asked who his favorite musician was at a basketball camp. Uh, I like how I would say... Some have just come out and said that Michael Jordan's doing this because Drake has business with him and he still doesn't like rap. But if he hated rappers and didn't want to take any photos with them, why would he take a photograph with 2 Chains, Common, Ludacris, Fat Joe, Nelly, and Fabulous? No need to mention a photo with Jay-Z, of course, since Nori even told us that was the only rapper that Michael Jordan liked at the time. Travis Scott, who's also a rapper and has a deal with Air Jordan and Nike, has been shown love by Michael Jordan. Not musically, but on a personal and business level. Travis Scott shot the music video for his song Franchise at Michael Jordan's Chicago home that he's been trying to sell for quite a long time now. Michael Jordan was said to have given approval without hesitation. And he's also been spotted wearing Travis Scott's Air Jordan 1 collab with his famous boot cut, not even boot cut, open jeans. As well as being spotted with Travis Scott and Mark Wahlberg as Travis Scott's first public appearance since his Astroworld tragedy that killed 10 people. Noriega would elaborate on why he thinks Michael Jordan hates hip hop and rappers. He's never made, he's never actually act black. Even his bell-bottom jeans, like no, nobody black and cool High looks like that. I, he still wears bell. He don't. Even, it's not even he wear baggy clothes. He wears bell bottoms. <laughs> like he wears the shit, the wide bottoms. Like those never been hot in the black community. <laughs> but that, that, that to let you know. As well as the lack of political activism or speaking done by Michael Jordan, which to be fair, Michael Jordan doesn't do much speaking in general let alone political. It seems to be the case that the Nori story really changed the way Michael Jordan wanted to brand himself. He has been spotted with more rappers since then. Shouts out Drake, of course, which helps him both PR-wise and business-wise, and works with Travis Scott. But the truth could also be that Michael Jordan has just changed. The story Nori is telling is from 20 years ago. The story Chameleon Air told is from about 15 years ago. And it could be the case that 
at that moment, they caught him in a bad mood. Although, that would be giving Michael Jordan too much credit, because there have been too many stories of people saying they had an unpleasant experience with him for him to have just been found in a bad mood. Whether or not Michael Jordan really hates hip-hop or rappers, we'll never actually know, but we do know that he isn't a huge fan like LeBron James, who we can see lip-syncing and promoting tons of rap records all over his social media and talking about hip-hop with enthusiasm in his podcast appearances. But those are two completely different people who grew up completely differently, with different upbringings, in different generations, and shouldn't be expected to like a certain type of music. 